Welcome everyone to my channel and today we have a set of three equations. The first one says x plus y equal to 3, y plus z equal to 4, z plus x equal to 5. Then what then will be the value of x, y and z? All right. Before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. And my name is Jakes. This is All I Mouse TV, where we learn mathematics every day. Let's take our solution without much waste of time. So we put on solution to our question. So let's bring down all the three equations. So first one we have x plus y equal to 3. Let's give this equation 1. And we have y plus z equal to 4. This is equation 2. Then let's take the last one, z plus s equal to 5. And let's give this equation 3. Okay. Now, from these three equations, the number one thing we do is to get the solver equation. And how do we get the solver equation? We add all the three equations together. So let's put it in writing. We say add, add all three equations. All three equations together. Okay. So if we add all three equations together, we're going to have this to be our x plus y, the first one, plus the second one, y plus z plus the next one, z plus s, everything equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5. Good. Now from here, if we look carefully, we discover that we have x here, we also have x here. So x plus s will give us 2x. Here we have y plus y will give us 2y. And here we have z plus z will give us 2z. So automatically we have the whole of this to be your 2s plus 2y plus 2z equal to 3 plus 4, 7, and 7 plus 5 will give us 12. Okay, very easy. Now, we look at this again. If you check this, 2 is common to everything here. So you can use 2 to divide through. If we divide through by 2, we are going to come out with this. We'll be left with x plus y plus z equal to 6. Okay, now let's give this equation a 4 and let's give this guy here equation 5. Now from equation 5, let's proceed. Okay, let's proceed. From here, what we do is we take the first equation and add it to the solver equation. Okay, this is our solver equation. Equation 5 is called the solver equation. So we add each of these equations to the solver equation. Okay, all right. So from here, we now put here, add, add, equation 1 to equation 5. Okay, x plus y. Okay, which is this, plus our solver equation, plus our s, which is this s here, plus y, plus z here. Yeah. Equal to, we have 3 here, yeah? so we have 3 plus 6. Okay, so like I said, you just pick the equation 1 and add it to this solver equation, okay? So from here, let's go ahead and see. X plus X will give us here 2X plus Y plus Y will give us 2Y plus Z is left out here equal to 3 plus 6 will give us here 9. Okay, very easy. Now, if you look at this, let's check out this, this expression we have here now. 2X plus 2Y. We have it from our expression here, okay? 2x plus 2y. If we send this 2z to meet this, so 
So we are going to have here 2x plus 2y equal to 12 minus 2z. Okay, so from here we cannot say from, from equation. Look at the equation we're looking at here from equation 4. What does equation 4 say? Equation 4 says 2x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 12. Okay, look at what we have here now. Same thing we have here. So if we are to make this the subject of the formula, so we have here 2x plus 2y, this is equal to 12 minus 2z. Okay, so what we do here now is this. Pick the whole of this in place of this. Okay, so we now come back to our equation here now and put everything here in place of this 2x plus 2y because that's what we have in here. So from here, this now implies, now have, this now implies, now have 12 minus 2z plus, we, say, we still have y, a z here, plus z equal to 9. So from here, we cannot add up here now. So if we add up, send this to this other side. So this will now give us here minus 2z plus z will give us minus z equal to 9. This crosses to this side turns to minus 12. So we have minus z is equal to 9 minus 12 minus 3. Here we have a minus, we have a minus, so we can strike this out by multiply through by, by um, um, minus 1 or divide through by minus 1. So we now have therefore z equal to 3. So we've gotten the value for z. Okay, again, we take our equation 2 and add it to our solver equation. And so this will now give us our equation 2 is uh, y plus z equal to uh, 4. Okay, so let's add it to our solver equation. Okay, so this will now implies y plus z plus x plus y plus z equal to your 4 plus 6. Let's proceed from here. So yeah, we now have here y, y. So we have 2y, 2y plus our z, we have 2 of it, 2, 2, z there. We also have here plus x, everything equal to 10. Again, from this expression here, we can figure out 2y plus 2z. So the whole of this can be replaced by our 12 minus 2x. So this will now in turn give us here your 12 minus 2x plus x equal to 10. So we have this to be minus x equals to 10 minus 12. So minus x equal to minus 2. Again, this minus takes care of this minus. So we have x is equal to 2. So we've also gotten the value for our x. Now, we take the last one, which is the last equation. Okay, we add it to the solver equation. Again, our last equation is your z plus x equal to 5. So let's add this to our solver equation, which is this, which is your uh, z plus x for this, plus our solver equation is x plus y plus z equal to, we have 5 plus 6. So we have this to be 2x plus 2z plus y equal to 11. Now, again, we look at our expression, okay? So from this, our expression here, if we are to figure out 2s plus 2z, which is 2s plus 2z, will now be equal to 12 minus 2y. So we cannot replace that with this. So this will now give us here 12 minus 
2 y blocks y equal to 11. Okay, so this is what I've replaced here. Okay, now we can add again. This will now give us minus y equal to your 11 minus 12. So minus y equal to 11 minus 12 will give us minus 1. Again, this we cancel. So we have y equal to 1. So we'll succeed in solving for r, x, y, and z. But let's check if these values we've calculated for are correct from our equation. So let's proceed from here. So from our question, we have our x, we've calculated it to be 2, and our y served to be 1, and our z, 3. Okay, so we take equation 1, which is let's see case, case 1, which is equation 1. Equation 1 says, um, says x looks y equal to 3. What is our x? We have 2 plus um, y is what? 1 equal to 3. So if we add up, we're going to have 3 equal to 3. So it shows that this is correct. Then we now look at equation 2, which is case 2. Case 2 here, our equation says y plus z equal to 4. Our y is 1, so we have 1 plus, and our z is 3. So we have 3 equal to 4. If we add up, we're going to have 4 equal to 4. So this is also correct. Then let's take the last one here. So which is case, case 3. Case 3. The equation says your z plus x equal to 5. Our z is 3 and our x is 2 is equal to 5. So if we add up, we have your 5 equal to 5. So this is also correct. So in all, we cannot say, therefore, this now implies that our x comma y comma z equal to 2 comma 1 comma 3. Okay, so these are the uh, solution or the uh, value of x, y, and z to this uh, simple challenge. If you've learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And do not forget to share with family and friends. Okay, this is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jake's Animal. Thanks for always be there. Bye for now.